There we have the subframe in, loosely bolted at the moment, and the anti-roll bar cleaned and rebushed. I ordered new Nylox for all of that, and the poly bushes are in, as are the radius arms and the anti-roll bar. Um, poly bushes. Now that's all loose at the moment and I'm gonna put uh, new nail locks on there and then get some struts ordered. Cool eh? Now as you can see the British Leyland Princess calipers do fit the uh, Triumph TR7 struts this is all prior to cleaning everything up, but I just wanted to make sure what I bought will fit. Um, and you can see, obviously, there's lots of space there for a vented disc, if I can get one with a larger diameter. So, that'll be uh, for the next video. This video concerns... Now, I measured these. Uh, the distance between the end of the um, rod and the nut before I took it apart 37.7, 37.8 37 just so we can get it somewhere near when the new um, track rod end goes on it won't be perfect but it will be okay to get it drive it and go and get it uh, tracked when she's on the road so that is how it came off. I'll do the other side now. Now that's the same position as when uh, it came off, so that's got to be um, near enough. Now one of the issues I had with this rack, um, it was very notchy, um, it was very very stiff. So what I've done is I've uh, replaced um, both these gaiters uh, and then lubed um, the shaft that runs through here. Uh, what I've discovered is this, um, I'll take it off and show you, this here that spring uh, applies pressure to this it's it's a washer but it's um, concave and it pushes down on the shaft um, now what British Leyland do is they pack it out with many many of these little thin washers as in to reduce the pressure um, that applies down there obviously this one hasn't been packed out enough because the pressure on that is horrendous so if you screw this right the way down it makes the shaft very, very notchy. I'll show you in a minute. So we'll just nip it up. Oops. That's just nipped up now. And we'll see how um, it affects the, the shaft. That is very, very stiff. So I'll back it off. As in, if there's more shims there. Belt to there. And that's very much easier. Even more. So that spring is supplying, uh, applying pressure down to that uh, washer, uh, concave washer. So what I've done is, I've ordered um, some shims to go under here. And... I'll fit them up and uh, we'll see how we get on with that. Anyway, so thanks for watching. If you want to uh, see the completion of this, um, I'm going to have to finish painting it up, rubbing it down, painting it up. Um, so if you want to see any more of this, give us a like, uh, give us a comment and uh, subscribe. Alright then, it's Sassy Bye from sunny North Wales. Actually, it is sunny. <laughs>